Kawhi Leonard, probably the most quiet superstars in league history. But don't let that fool you, because he may not talk the talk, but this man definitely walks the walk. Here are the top 20 plays of Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is one of the best two-way players in NBA history, not to mention one of the most clutch. He is also savage when going downhill, and when he sees someone going under the basket, he's gonna put them on a poster, no matter what. And he demonstrates this for number 20. Maxi Kleber didn't get the memo apparently, and Kawhi didn't think twice. NBA and a ton of injuries during the regular season. Leonard gets the steal, three on one. Oh! just destroyed the German, sitting him down on his ass and producing one of the coldest photos of all time. I wince just looking at that while editing this video, just like I did with number 19, with this nasty poster against Derek Favors. No rush here for LA, Leonard, seven to shoot. Kawhi makes his move. Oh, wow. Even Embiid had something to say about it. Oh my God. Stand up. <laughs> Made me shake my head watching that, which I also did when I saw what he did in number 18, when he went Euro and laid it up on Luka. Kawhi spun off Grant Williams. And that move was so sweet. Harden couldn't help himself, just took Luka to school. Like how he took DeMar to school on how to be a clutch here in number 17. Spurs up by one. And a turnover. Leonard. Raptors lead it. With all due respect to Debo, Kawhi just showed why he was the sacrificial lamb that the Raptors gave up. Yikes. Look how he just tracks down DeMar, waiting for the perfect moment to pounce. Like how he did here in number 16, which is a trademark Kawhi highlight. To his shot, his mechanics are excellent. Yes. Great. Oh my goodness, what a play. He doesn't even really see the pass, looking more at the timing of Jimmy Butler's cut, showing more of his defensive IQ than his strength in God-given attributes. Not that he doesn't take advantage of these God-given attributes, because he absolutely does it here in number 15. Shot clock at nine, Murray takes it and tried to jam, it was rejected at the rim, it was... He blocked oh. it with his middle finger. That is amazing. He blocks that thing with one finger, man. That's just that 11.25 inch hand span at work. Ridiculous. Hakeem wagged the finger, but Kawhi made blocks with it. For number 14, here's another block that shows just how clutch this man is. This game was crazy. Boston going band for band with the Clippers. Jason Tatum dropping PG to tie the game to send the game to OT. The Patrick Beverly hitting what would be the dagger. Marcus Smart somehow getting possession with this. How about the effort? He doesn't want Kawhi to get a touch. Gets a piece. And Boston gets one possession with 1.06 seconds remaining. They have to go for the three. Kawhi knows that and does this. Walker, shot blocked. Kawhi Leonard blocks it. And the Clippers hang on and win in OT. This man is a menace defensively, man. It's not as if this is just some scrub. Well, he kind of is now. But Kemba was an all-star back then. Doesn't matter to Kawhi, though. He ate the claw for no reason. And he has and will lock your favorite player up, like he did here in number 13 with KD. Leonard right up into Durant. Shot blocked by Leonard. Not many players can block Kevin Durant. That's one thing. But it's also another thing that snatch block KD's high-ass shooting pocket. And this man has just been a thorn on OKC's side, man, because this next one happened just a few months prior in the playoffs. That time when Kawhi included Russell Westbrook in his superstar hit list for his 12th moment. Three on two for the Thunder. Westbrook. Oh, he's stripped by Leonard. What a play by Kawhi Leonard. Wow. Ridiculous highlight. 
considering the fact that this was a really close OT game, with the Spurs clinging to a one-point lead to finish the series. It all could have gone away for them if it weren't for Kawhi. It's not all defense though, because he was also the best player offensively for the Spurs in that series, culminating with this insane highlight against Big Perk for number 11. Oh, and the defender turning defense into offense. Kawhi Leonard going top shelf. Rebound behind the back. Bang. That 2008 ring isn't going to save you from that one, champ. <laughs> Props for the hustle, but his old ass isn't catching up to Kawhi. Dunked on him so hard he started spewing straight garbage ever since he became a talking head on TV. But Kawhi's not limited to just dunking on old men, though, because here he is bodying Serge Ibaka to get us started with a top 10. In fact, it was so nice, he had to do it twice immediately after that game. Beating both Russ and KD to the rim, mind you, like how he bits Mikal Bridges here and detonates on DeAndre Ayton in number nine. They are leading a Phoenix team in the second of a back. Oh my goodness! Oh. What a play by Kawhi! No wonder he wanted out of there. He knew he needed a change of scenery. Unlike Kawhi, who was facing the Mavs again for number eight. And he wants this matchup. Five to shoot. Leonard step back three. Bang! And unlike that jazz that season where Kawhi teabagged Derek Favors. The Mavs took the Clippers to hell this series. Luka has this vendetta against the Clips for some reason. Game 6, win or go home for the Clippers. And Kawhi was probably already seeing the Luka is the Clippers' daddy memes. But Kawhi, knowing him, was just probably like... <laughs> and decided to be a Michael Jordan-Kyrie hybrid. Good looks at the three. Leonard crossover twice, pull up jumper, puts it in. Leonard. Pull up jumper. It's good. Nice matchup. Five to shoot. Leonard step back three. Bang! Culminating in this Luca esque size up into a step back three to seal the game. Back to Leonard. Shot clock at six. Leonard step back three. Pucks it in. He does it again. Doesn't matter who's defending him. Ridiculous takeover mode from Kawhi. Just went cyborg mode and made every tough shot on the way to 45 points. He's always been this tough, as you can see in our number 7 and 6 moments, like in his last good year with the Spurs, game 4 against the grit and grind Memphis Grizzlies on its last legs. Kawhi was hitting clutch shot after clutch shot. How about Kawhi Leonard at that size? Will shoot too. Well, he stayed with the play. Another steal, fending off Conley, lays it in! Big of beauty. Leonard will take Cupid! Corner. Mills will back it out. Leonard heaves. He got to be great. Around the back. Leonard, the fadeaway is gone. And this one is massive. Four points down. Patty Mills nearly turning it over. He gets his hands on the ball and, well, just see for yourself. Bang. Over former DPOY Mark Gasol. And it's a one point game. But that's not all, because at number six, they were still behind and the Grizzlies put two more in their basket. Down three, the Spurs would have no choice but to throw it from downtown. Back, later to tie, you bet! He is ridiculous, and he only gets more clutch from here, starting with our number five moment. Kawhi against Harden here, 2017. Two MVP candidates going at it, only for the sixth seed guy to win it. But anyway, Kawhi Leonard was giving him buckets left and right in the clutch. Gordon on Leonard, steps towards the baseline, rises up. He continues to quietly go about his business. 7 of 78 from the floor. And there they were, down by one. And he just catches the ball and goes to work. Four now for Leonard raising up for a three. Wow. Bang. And if you're wondering why this is so high up in the list, when it's a regular season game, it's because it was immediately followed up with this. Back on lead of the rim, blocked by Leonard. Three words, two-way 
player. Just show a picture of Kawhi Leonard when someone asks you what a two-way player is, because he is the very definition of it. And another thing that describes him? Most valuable player. Because when he and Yanis faced off in the 2019 Conference Finals, after Yanis just won his first MVP, the claw showed him what a true MVP looks like. For our number four and three moments, when his team was down 0-2. Against the best team in the regular season, Kawhi buckled down, anchored the defense, took Yanis on defense, became the offense, and took the Bucks to double OT, and then produced this moment. With this and his stifling defense, the Bucks collapsed. They ultimately took the Game 3 dub and never looked back. But where's the moment where he show Yanis who the real MVP is? Here it is. To cap off a dominating performance to end the Bucks in just six games. Got Drake doing all that. And he was about to do a lot of that because the Raptors were just six games away from lifting their very first championship. And this moment, Kawhi's second greatest highlight. Kawhi, as he hits the first, <laughs> he's still coaching. Crowd still here hoping for a miracle. Also. It's not particularly flashy. Not too pretty, but it's the moment that made sure that Kawhi capped off one of the greatest playoff runs in NBA history with his second ring and finals MVP. This was truly special. Those dunks against the Bucks, taking down the Golden State Warriors dynasty, like how he took down the Heat dynasty five years previously. Truly one of the greatest single player playoff performances ever, with its legacy and Kawhi's legacy cemented because of our number one moment. The greatest moment in Kawhi Leonard's. And I'm pretty sure you know what's coming. It's off to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? The only Game 7 buzzer-beating game winner in NBA history. One of the greatest and most iconic moments in sports history. Befitting of one of the most iconic players today. Kawhi Leonard, take a bow. He's the quietest superstar in the NBA, but he's produced some of the loudest moments in its history and some of the most iconic plays. I think it's safe to say that Kawhi Leonard will go down as one of the best small forwards ever and definitely has the top 20 highlight reel for it.